Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for taking a couple of minutes to talk to me. I figured we had done this earlier in the year and it was really fun and I enjoyed having the chance to talk to you all. So I thought it would be nice to do it again now that the year is kind of wrapping up. I asked on Facebook um, whether people had any questions that they wanted to ask as long as we were doing this. Um, and the the question itself was sort of weird, but I think it I think it relates to a question that's not weird. Um, the specific question was about relationships between Asians and Black Americans. But I think I think the the broader point in there is sort of like. You know, I think America has its own very unique racial, ethnic issues. Um, so I think we can sort of get at the, the Asians and Black Americans question <laughs> by asking, what has been your experience with cross-cultural relationships? Has it been easy to interact with people of other ethnicities or races? And sort of what have you... I know this is a difficult question, but what have you experienced around that while you were here? That's a really interesting question because I actually have a lot of Asian friends, Asian encapsulating like Southeast Asia, Indians, and I, I find that actually African, well, not, not in the context of African Americans because that, that's a different conversation, but I think um, for me in the context of Africans and Asians, I find that there are a lot of um, cultural similarities um, but one interesting thing that happened was that I have a friend from Thailand, and um, he told me that before he left Thailand, his grandmother told him that he shouldn't um, associate with black people. Um, because really? Apparently, his grandmother uh, he has certain stereotypes uh, around black people, and um, you know she believes that they would harm harm him or, or do something of that nature. So um, <laughs> it was very interesting because obviously he doesn't have those uh, prejudices. But um, mm -hmm. he actually told me that uh, um, uh, quite a lot of people in, in Thailand don't quite, um, how can I frame this sensitively? <laughs> um, they don't quite um, uh, think that it's, it's in their best interest to associate with, with black people. So that was an interesting conversation that it was a very eye-opening conversation that uh, mm -hmm. I didn't expect to have. So just uh, in this conversation of uh, uh, how do black people relate to Asian people, I think it just depends on what kind of things that can link you to that person. Like for me, it was things like just liking cricket or something like that can be something that can connect sort of Africans and, um, you know, Asian. It's really interesting. You know, because more of my cousin here in the United States, they we, we are Vietnamese, and uh, whenever I I visit their families, their parents say that you never get to know the uh, Black American if you uh, I mean in relationship with them, their parents don't like a uh, Black American. But for me, I think that I I I don't discriminate Black people. It's just about and how to say the older generation they have kind of all mindset <laughs> about the black people, I guess. Yeah, Same but there to is. Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was saying. There, there is certainly in America. I think, like racism is definitely a problem here, and there is this idea that you know black people are more likely to commit crimes or be violent. Not understanding that that's a particular subset of the population that comes from particular socioeconomic conditions. But I think that perception, Tui, that your relatives have, I think that's not something unique to the Vietnamese community. I think you would certainly find that same mindset within white communities as well. Um, which is, you know, it's unfortunate. I don't know, for for... Alex, do you think you're treated differently as an African than an African American would be treated? <laughs> I know, Alex, we talked about this a little bit last year. <laughs> I'll let Simba stop, you know, with that. <laughs> Simba. Yeah. <laughs> you're up. Go for it. 
Um, you know, I've had these experiences that people, when they meet you and you just tell them that you're from Zimbabwe, you know, they automatically, I think their mind just goes in overdrive. You know, they have already a lot of things that they're thinking in their heads. For example, when I first came here, I um, had a conversation with someone and she asked me, oh, what's your name? And, and I said, oh, my name is Simba. And she said, oh, where are you from? And then she said, um, then I said, oh, Zimbabwe. And then she's like, why do you, okay, let me, I want to add you on Facebook. Do you have a Facebook in Zimbabwe? You know, <laughs> uh, like, you know, just, I think as an African, there are just so, there are just too many stereotypes that are, you know, you have to overcome. Um, a lot of the times, you know, there's this thing that people used to say, you know, initially it used to amuse me and then, it, you know, got really irritating. Um, every time when I have a conversation with someone, they say, wow, your English is so good. How can mm. you speak English, you know, um, those type of, and, you know, it, it comes up constantly and uh, and it's, it's such... Um, you know they have so many stereotypes that are just so difficult to navigate sometimes um so i guess um people do treat you differently for for, uh, from an african-american i I don't think an african-american would get bizarre questions like (laughs) uh, you know do you live in the forest you know or things like that i I don't know those kind of things is that is that a legitimate question has someone actually asked you do you live in a forest they asked (laughs) Do you live in? It was framed differently, but basically, it was asking, "Do you live in a forest?" And then they asked me, "Do you have trees that look like those in the Lion King?" And I said, "What?" <laughs> it was so funny, but I get those kind of questions, and it doesn't help that my name is Simba because that comes with the you know, yeah. it's own kind of stereotype. It's... Yeah, <laughs> I I hear what you're saying. Um... Uh, but I've been there before, and I don't know, it's, uh, it gets ridiculous at some point, but yeah, it's a very complicated issue. It is. Um, uh, in terms, like, there's so many, you can't really put, point a finger and be like, this is why people feel this, think this, and, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, if you're, uh, if you're probably in the position that I'm in, I, I'm in the communication industry, so mm-hmm. I feel like I have some kind of obligation to, uh, to change that perspective of, uh, you know, just to do something about, you know, the general perspective that people who are not African have on Africans. Right. And uh, it's frustrating for Africans to begin mm-hmm. this side of the story every time because it's not like that. It is not what the media puts it out to be. Coming out and seeing that, oh, this is how, uh, you know, people feel about, you know, where I'm coming from, you know, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not a good feeling. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, the, the, the only thing to do about it is, you know, just take it the way it is and do something about it. It's up to us as Africans to change the story. I, I know we have a lot of work to do, me and Simba. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, we have a- I definitely agree with you. I mean, there are lot, lots of really problematic narratives that come out of um, sort of some other places and telling these stories in a way that is perhaps... Um, quite reductive and doesn't really give the full picture and I agree with you I think it's up to us to really try and own those narratives and you know tell our stories the way we want them to be told and maybe um, people will start to change their mindset. I I mean I think just the fact that American students can interact with you and, and understand that you're smart people and normal people um i mean i think that does make a big it makes a big difference because i think most people have not had that opportunity before and so the entire impression of what africa is is based on what they have seen on cnn or you know where there's not a lot of positive stories being told i mean not not to blame cnn and you know the news in general Speaking for myself, the first time that I met someone who was actually from Africa, having someone who I could relate to and be friends with and realize that they were just a person, it was absolutely eye-opening for me. And yeah. that's, that's one of the great things about being in the U.S. because there are very few places in the world where you can get those types of interactions. You know, I, had, I, I realized that I had stereotypes about um, India you know, mm. just just from the, the things that I'd seen on, on television. And then now I have several uh, people I know 
who, who have lived in India and, you know, they, they ad- and we address those things you know, in conversations and then you, that's when you come to know, oh, you know, this perception that I had was completely flawed or this perception that I had was, you know, problematic. So that's the great thing about the U.S. is it's just that you get those rare opportunities to just interact with different types of people and you you educate them and you get educated. Mm-hmm. Actually, I agree with Simba because I had also some stereotypes about Chinese. Mm-hmm. And actually, here in my class, I have two Chinese girls and they are super intelligent. They are very hard working. They have very good mindset and they have some original ideas so just um, because in my country back home in Ukraine we looked down on Chinese and probably because we had a lot of Chinese goods uh, which were of very poor quality and again the news never show anything good you know all negative things appear in the news so, and this stereotype was completely destroyed here when I met those my classmates. And then later when I uh, actually worked with other Chinese students. So, just now, like, I understand how it's not smart, I would say, to have uh, certain stereotypes, especially if they are negative. Because... As life proves, just it's not true. It's just not true. 